A block with a mass of 15 kilograms slides down a 43 degree incline as shown above with an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. The magnitude of the frictional force along the plane is nearly what? So the first step is to draw a free body diagram of all the forces that are acting on this object here. So we know that we have mg acting straight down, which is the weight. The normal force is perpendicular to our surface, so Fn. And then we know that our object is going down the plane and is accelerating with A, 3 meters per second squared. And we know that there is a force due to friction, which is opposing our motion, so it is directed up the plane, as shown here. If we now choose our axes to point in the direction here, so up will be our positive y, and down the plane will be our positive x direction. If we now redraw this diagram of the base of justice axis here, so there's our box. Mg is acting at an angle here of theta, which is the same as the angle of the incline which is 43 degrees. Theta is equal to 43 degrees. We know that the force due to friction is pointing to the right, the negative x direction with our axes. And we know that our normal force is pointing straight up and that we have an acceleration to the left. A which is equal to 3 meters per second squared. Now the question is, how do we determine the force due to friction? Well, from here we can realize that this is in the x direction of our motion. So if we write Newton's second law, so the net force, sigma f equals ma. Sigma means the sum of, so the sum of all the forces in the x direction is equal to the mass times acceleration in the x direction. Now, we know what our net acceleration is in the x direction here. It's given by A is equal to 3 meters per second squared. So we can rewrite the net, the net sum of the fx to be mg. Now we need the x component of our weight. So mgx is in the positive x direction. Force friction is in the negative direction, so minus the force due to friction is equal to m times our acceleration down the slope, our uh, down our incline, which is given by ma. So now we have that here. Now we want to solve for what the magnitude of our friction force is, so we're going to get that alone. So we add that to the right and subtract ma from our x component of our weight here and that would leave us with our force due to friction is equal to mgx minus ma. Now the thing is what is mg's x component? So if we apply Sokotoa to this triangle here we would see that the sine of theta is equal to mgx over our, our hypotenuse, mg. And if we solve for mgx, we see it's equal to mg sine of theta. If we now plug that into our equation here, we would see that our force of friction is equal to mg sine theta minus ma. So that there is the equation for our magnitude of our friction force. We know the acceleration due to gravity, which is g. We know theta. We know our mass. And we know the acceleration down the incline. So now we can determine what the magnitude of our force due to friction is. So let's plug in our values now. So the force of friction is equal to m, which is 15 kilograms times g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, times sine of 43 degrees, 
minus 15 kilograms times 3 meters per second squared. This now will give us a, if we carry out this multiplication here, this will give us around 100.254 newtons and 15 kilograms times 3 meters per second squared gives us 45 newtons. So our force due to friction is roughly 55.25 newtons. So this is roughly what the force due to friction is. If we now look back at our choices, the only one that corresponds to our answer here is A, which is 55.25 newtons, which is the magnitude of the frictional force.